Do you have Modbus enabled devices, but you're not quite sure how to get clear visibility into them? Where would you even start? Hi, I'm Jesse, and I wanted to look a little bit today at the pros and cons that you're going to encounter as you're looking to set up a remote monitoring solution for your Modbus enabled devices. The first pro and con that I wanted to look at today has to do with open specifications on Modbus. So the first thing I wanted to talk to you about today was the open specification of Modbus. Modbus was introduced about 40 years ago as a way to ease communication between different devices, such as generators, PLCs, even reverse osmosis pumps. So a lot of manufacturers started developing Modbus protocol, and one of the pros is that you saw this wide adoption very early, or very early on. But the difficulty that you run into with this kind of early adoption phase is that the standard hadn't been fully defined and fully locked down. So there are some bits and pieces that aren't consistent between multiple manufacturers. You'll usually have to work with uh, an expert or with extensive documentation from the manufacturer in order to be able to get your configuration right the first time. The second thing that I wanted to talk to you about is the flexibility of the transport medium of Modbus. So the flexibility of the transport is both a blessing and a curse for Modbus enabled devices. When Modbus was first introduced, it was designed more with a point-to-point RS-232 connection in mind. But some devices, as Modbus sort of grew into maturity as a protocol, started incorporating RS-485 and also TCP IP connections. Depending on what connectivity your Modbus device supports is going to really determine how it's reporting back to its master. So you're going to need to think about if I've got a Modbus device that reports 485, but I need it to report back to a master that's only ethernet enabled or is at a very remote site, how am I going to get that information back and how can I bridge that connection from serial out to TCP IP? The third point that I wanted to look at today on Modbus is Modbus's scalability. So the scalability of your solution is something that you're going to want to keep in mind as you're developing your remote monitoring solution for Modbus. If you're only looking to monitor maybe one or two devices, you might get away with having a single RTU or a site-based RTU um, pulling this and then we're going to reach out to the device for visibility to it. But if you're looking to monitor lots of different devices and, and get that scalability, you're really going to want to go towards a dedicated Modbus master or some kind of master system that's going to be able to remotely reach out and pull all of your Modbus devices and bring back their information to a single collection zone. Before you decide on a Modbus solution, there's a lot you need to consider about the devices that you're going to be monitoring and how they report back to you. We've prepared a white paper for you that you can access at the link below. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you found this video useful. And remember, I'm always here to help you as your partner in a remote monitor.